Welcome to my channel today. Today I will be making some vegetable cook up rice or shine rice. Uh, we're having two tomatoes, bell pepper, cabbage, okra. I have the spinach, the frozen spinach. Um, I have some mango dry salt fish this is mango berry and I have two coconut that I blend up and I'm gonna strain it and let you guys see all right coconut after this finish boiling this is a second water and I have some lime juice inside of this water you can put vinegar and this is um, to cut off some of the ring from the salt fish and also the salt all right i'm gonna take all of this off with some cold water i'm gonna throw off this and i'm gonna shell it off and then you see so this is how we normally clean the dry bango from guyana you know take off the flesh Make sure they take off all the flesh. It's going to be thrown away. All right. the bones. Make sure so all the bones come out. You don't have to take off this skin if you don't want it. This flesh. I mean, the skin. I say skin, flesh, skin, flesh. So when I finish cleaning all of this, I'm gonna show you guys, all right? When I finish doing this, I'm gonna wash this out again. Alright. As we all adjust to life in the age of coronavirus, we've changed the way that we work and walk about. And the combo of masks, glasses, even Zoom meetings has sent a lot of people to the eye doctor. So guess who's Dr. Max Cona tells us about an optic and LASIK surgery. I'm just going to have to wash over one more time. You must have to wash before you continue. All right, so. Some patients have reported halos, glare, or dry eyes after LASIK. 
But several FDA mandated studies found less than one percent of patients said those issues caused them a lot of difficulty. When patients had a second so I'm going to add some more lemon juice and I'm not squeezing this um, I'm just going to loose it up like this all right break it up big and I'm going to drain out the water Put it in a strain now. Let's strain. Let the water drain out. All right. Because I want, I want to see this just like this. So this is the coconut milk, guys. Look at it. Rich. Rich, thick coconut milk. Dip it. I'm gonna squeeze this two times. All right. I didn't measure this water, so I'm mostly you guys know. I just average. But this is just two coconut, and it depends on how much water you want to use and how much rice you're gonna be using, or how much people you're gonna be cooking for. Everything will depend on the amount of people and the amount of rice, okay? Just in case if I didn't let you guys know, um, I have the carrots. I'm going to start with the garlic. I'm sorry about that. Garlic. Onion. Tomato, all right, then the salt. I'm going to let it fry up for a little while, fry it up for a minute or so, then I'm going to add the other. We don't get the house, all right? So I'm going to strain off some of the milk.
okay and the music of the background we are going to be hearing is not from me i'm living down next to the road where the music playing so i can't provide the song i know you two normally come after you for music and not play music The second set of squeezing for the liquid. Shit. So now I'm gonna spice up this liquid here, this in the pot, and then I'm gonna um, right. I'm gonna put a little bit more liquid into this because it, the rice is gonna swell. It still have to cook up down. And if you really want your rice to cook, you have to put a little more water. If you notice, the water is just where the rice is. So I'm going to just put it a little bit more above the, um, this level that you're seeing here. So I'm going to, it's just two little waters in there. All right. So I'm going to, um, stay tuned. I'm going to put some more water. I'm going to squeeze some more milk for matter of fact and pour it in all right stay tuned so yes this is a liquid okay there's no more liquid gonna be added into this now i'm gonna just lift this and then i'm gonna spice it up now right okay. Start. This is the Q powder. Black pepper. Cayenne pepper. Remember everything that I put in here is um you don't have to use it. Spices, any spices that I am adding into this pot is optional. I'm gonna add the cabbage and the okra. Alright. I'm gonna taste this when I finish. I could mix it up along with the bell pepper. Yes, I want this nice, bright, colorful. Excuse me. Sorry. See? I'm gonna taste it now. And I'm gonna turn the stove down low and let this cook, all right? But I have to taste it first before I do so. I want a little bit more salt, all right? I want a little bit more. I'm not gonna put too much. As you guys know, I always mention I don't like a lot of salt in my food. I'm sorry about that, but I don't. I tear the salt.
This is it. This is it when it's finished. And this is some ketchup, some pepper sauce, some fried turn plantain. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give this video a thumbs up. And again, I must remind you, please, wear a mask, wash your hands, and be careful. Protect yourself and your loved one, your friends and neighbor. Please don't skip the ads. Thank you very much. Please do not skip my ads. This is what's bringing in my revenue. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be safe. Love you. Mwah.